The Armenia, an Indo-European people, first appear in history shortly after the end of the 7th century BCE. Driving some of the ancient population to the east of Mount Ararat, where they were known to the Greeks as Alarodioi, the invaders imposed their leadership over regions which, although suffering much from Scythian and Sumerian depredations, must still have retained elements of a high degree of civilization, example, walled towns, irrigation works, and arable fields, upon which the less advanced newcomers might build, the Hake. As the Armenians name themselves, the term Armenian is probably the result of an Iranian or Greek confusion of them with the Arameans, were not able to achieve the power and independence of their predecessors and were first rapidly incorporated by Syaxares into the Median Empire and then annexed with Media by Cyrus II, the Great, to form part of the Achaemenian Empire of Persia, c. 550 BCE. The country is mentioned as Armenia and Armenia in the Byzantine inscription of Darius I, the Great, ruled 522-486 BCE, and, according to the 5th century Greek historian Herodotus, formed part of the 13th satrapy, province, of Persia, the Alarodioi forming part of the 18th, Xenophon's Anabasis, recounting the adventures of Greek mercenaries in Persia, describes the local government about 400 BCE as being in the hands of village headmen, part of whose tribute to the Persian king consisted of horses. Armenia continued to be governed by Persian or native satraps until its absorption into the Macedonian Empire of Alexander the Great, 331. After the empire was divided between Alexander's generals, Armenian rulers paid tribute to the Seleucid Kingdom, 301, although in practice they wielded considerable autonomy. Armenia, country of Transcaucasia, lying just south of the Great Mountain Range of the Caucasus and fronting the northwestern extremity of Asia. To the north and east Armenia is bounded by Georgia and Azerbaijan, while its neighbors to the southeast and west are, respectively, Iran and Turkey. Naxivan, an exclave of Azerbaijan, borders Armenia to the southwest. The capital is Yerevan, Erevan. Modern Armenia comprises only a small portion of ancient Armenia, one of the world's oldest centers of civilization. At its height, Armenia extended from the south-central Black Sea coast to the Caspian Sea and from the Mediterranean Sea to Lake Urmia in present-day Iran. Ancient Armenia was subjected to constant foreign incursions, finally losing its autonomy in the 14th century CE. The centuries-long rule of Ottoman and Persian conquerors imperiled the very existence of the Armenian people. Eastern Armenia was annexed by Russia during the 19th century, while Western Armenia remained under Ottoman rule, and in 1894-96 and 1915 the Ottoman government perpetrated systematic massacres and forced deportations of Armenians. Land of Armenia Armenia is a mountainous country characterized by a great variety of scenery and geologic instability. The average elevation is 5,900 feet 1, meters, above sea level. There are no lowlands, half the territory lies at elevations of 3,300 to 6,600 feet, only about one-tenth lies below the 3,300-foot mark, the northwestern part of the Armenian highland containing Mount Aragats, Alagez, Kama, the highest peak, 13,418 feet, or 4,090 meters. In the country is a combination of lofty mountain ranges, deep river valleys, and lava plateaus dotted with extinct volcanoes. To the north and east, the Somkit, Basim, Pambak, Gugark, Araguni, Shakdag, and Vardenis ranges of the Lesser Caucasus lie across the northern sector of Armenia. Elevated volcanic plateaus, Lori, Shirak, and others, cut by deep river valleys, lie amid these ranges. In the eastern part of Armenia, the Savan Basin, containing Lake Savan, 525 square miles, and hemmed in by ranges soaring as high as 11,800 feet, lies at an elevation of about 6,200 feet. In the southwest, a large depression, the Ararat Plain, lies at the foot of Mount Aragats and the Gegama Range, the Aras River cuts this important plain into halves, the northern half lying in Armenia and the southern in Turkey and Iran, people of Armenia. Armenians constitute nearly all of the country's population, they speak Armenian, a distinct branch of the Indo-European language family. The remainder of the population includes Kurds, Russians, and small numbers of Ukrainians, Assyrians, and other groups. Religion of Armenia Armenia was converted to Christianity about 300 CE, 
becoming the first kingdom to adopt the religion after the Ars Acid King Tiridates III was converted by Saint Gregory the Illuminator. The Armenians have therefore maintained an ancient and rich liturgical and Christian literary tradition, believing Armenians today belong mainly to the Armenian Apostolic, Orthodox, Church or the Armenian Catholic Church, in communion with Rom, economy of Armenia. Under Soviet rule the Armenian economy was transformed from agricultural to primarily industrial, agriculture, however, remains important, accounting for about two-fifths of the gross domestic product and employing one-fifth of the labor force. Industry is heavily dependent on imports of energy and raw materials. The massive earthquake of 1988 destroyed nearly one-third of Armenia's industrial capacity, seriously weakening the economy. In 1989 the conflict over Nagorno-Karabakh led Azerbaijan to impose a blockade, closing a vital natural gas pipeline to Armenia. The subsequent severe energy shortage combined with the disruption of key trade routes due to civil unrest in Georgia caused a sharp drop in industrial production, further devastating the economy. Most of the population of Armenia thus experienced severe economic hardship during the 1990s, after independence. Armenia implemented a number of structural reforms in an effort to create the institutional and legal basis for a market economy. Reforms included substantial privatization of industry and agriculture, restructuring of the tax and financial systems, and price liberalization. A new currency, the DRAM, was introduced in 1993, replacing the ruble. Agriculture of Armenia Agriculture in Armenia has to contend with many difficulties. Arable land is scarce. Cultivated lands, plowland, orchards, and vineyards, occupy less than two-fifths of the total area. Pastures and meadows mowed for hay cover a larger area, approaching one-fourth of the territory. Farmlands in mountain regions form a mosaic of cornfields, orchards, vineyards, and pastures. Considerable tracts of arable land also are found in the Ararat Plain, the Shirak Steppe, and the southern part of the Savan Basin, trade of Armenia. Armenia has a negative trade balance, importing more than it exports. It exports chemicals, non-ferrous metals, machines, precision instruments, textiles and clothing, wine, brandy, and foodstuffs. Its major imports, in addition to coal and petroleum products, include ferrous metals, wood and paper products, grain, meat, milk, butter, and consumer goods. Armenia's major import source and export destination is Russia, other trading partners include China, Georgia, Germany, and Iran, education of Armenia, countrywide eight-year schooling has become the standard. There are trade schools, secondary specialized educational establishments, and institutes and colleges. Establishments of higher learning include Yerevan State University, Polytechnical, Medical, Agricultural, pedagogical, and theatrical institutes, and a conservatory. Health and welfare of Armenia, medical treatment in hospitals and clinics is free of charge for all citizens, being supported, like education, by taxation. The government provides modest benefits to the elderly, the unemployed, and parents of young children. Cultural life of Armenia, Armenian written literature began in the 5th century AD, and monasteries became the principal centers of intellectual life. The earliest works were historical, such as Moses of Koran's History of Armenia. The masterpiece of classical Armenian is Esnik Kobatsi's Eitz Agandots, Refutation of the Sects. The first great Armenian poet, 10th century, was Saint Gregory Narakatsi, renowned for his mystical poems and hymns. During the 16th to 18th century, popular bards, or troubadours, called Ashug, arose, outstanding among them were Nahapit Kuchak and, especially, a Ruthen Saadian, called Syat Nova, died in 1795, whose love songs are still popular. In the 19th and early 20th centuries, the best dramatist of recent times was Gabriel Sundukian, died in 1912. The public libraries include the A.F. Myasnikian State Public Library and the Madanadaran Archives in Yerevan, which contain 10,000 Armenian manuscripts, the largest collection in the world. There are also a number of museums, including the State Historical Museum of Armenia. Armenian science, like its culture, has its roots in antiquity, but research institutions are a 20th century development. The Armenian Academy of Sciences is composed of a number of institutes engaged in research problems in natural and social sciences.